guys, before we start this video off, I apologize for the last one about no shoutouts, and here we go. We've got this shout-out. we got a shout-out to Maya McKinley, Chris Baby 666 and yeah, that's all it's going to be for today, so thanks, and hope you enjoy. Hey guys, it's Stuart here, and welcome back to Building with Friends. Today, we will be making an origami swordfish. So, what we need, what you will need, you will need two pieces of paper, ideally the same color, but it doesn't have to be that, with usually white sides. I made another one with different colors on each side and different uh, colors of pieces of paper. So, you decide which one looks better to you and which one you want to make. So, first, to start us off, we, need, we will need to make a bait, the first base for the fish. So, first you'll start by folding the paper triangle side in half, making sure that you make a nice crease. Okay, second step, you'll need to unfold the paper and fold it in on every corner into the middle using it, the first crease as a guideline and creasing on the side. You have to do the same on the other side. Make sure to keep your paper straight and neat. It will be important for making the swordfish. So now that you have that part done, you have to turn it, flip it over, and do the same thing for both sides. So you need to fold that, crease, and then fold the other side. And As you can see, we've made a nice pattern here. Basically, with the two squares, we need to crease those in half. So, we have to fold this in half, but don't crease the middle part. Only crease the two lines here connecting to the square. Fold that part, and then look to the other side and fold that part. This will help with the next step. So, after we've made those nice lines, we will be able to fold the first fold you folded in first, and then you can simply use the creases on the squares to fold a nice shape there. Now, we will need to fold this side in and do the same thing. Voila, you've completed the first part, the base part. Now, as we move on to creating the first half of the swordfish, we need to fold so that the blue triangle parts are on the outside. Make sure everything looks nice and neat. We have a little corner here that needs to be straightened. Make that straight and neat. Make sure the tops are the same. That's very important. So now that you have this, you need to make the fins of the swordfish. So we'll fold this down. Wait, yeah. That down. Flip it over and fold this down. A lot of this will be same sides other side stuff, so remember that. Now you have that. What I like to do to fold in the middle part, the top part right here, is open it up and then fold this to that middle crease area right there. Then, once you have that, you can fold down and fold it back together. And the easier way to do that instead of trying to shuffle it all together. So, now that we have this part, we need to make the front of it, the mouth and the eyes part, 
make sure you go all the way down to that far corner and do the same thing on the other side, matching up the sides. So we have this, and now we finally need to fold this over so that we will have a nice area for this bit fin. So I'm going to fold it in, making sure to hit the top part with maybe half a centimeter. Oh, that is not. Folding down and making a nice long crease. Flip it over, follow your line from earlier, and do the same thing. creates a nice point at the top that we can then use for later. Now that we have that, fold up this top part to make the eyes, because every swordfish needs eyes. And voila, you have half of your swordfish already complete. Now, we want to set that to the side, and we want to take out our second piece of paper. So, we want to do like we did in the beginning to make the base fold. Flip it over, fold it in half. Do all the four sides. Yeah. Remember to follow that guideline that you already made and make the creases nice and straight. Okay, now we've done that, we want to once again crease our little squares on the side by following it up to that nice mark we made through our other folds on each side and creasing out. Now that we have that, we can simply fold this in and fold our page over. which then creates our second base. So, instead of folding for the triangles out, we want to fold everything inside of there. Now, I know this isn't necessarily how you fold, do normal origami, but this is required. We need to take our scissors, and we need to cut about near the top here, sort of like, three-fourths of the way down, and simply cut about halfway. Or half, depending on what you want. So, do that, and then you simply fold these over, the sides that you cut, to make your nice front line for your swordfish's sword, or so they call it. So, now that we have that, we want to take this line right here, and we want to crease it out here. However, we don't want to leave it there. We want to move it to the center. And we have a nice little pocket here, as you can see. We want to move this inside to create more room for folding other parts. You don't have to fold it into that pocket there, but I find it easier because it makes it so that it's a nice, clean, and it won't pop out. So we want to do the same thing once again on the other side. Fold it over and then fold it back into that pocket. And we have that part done. So, once we have that done, we want to 
We want to take our other part of our swordfish and we want to simply put them together. One, the fin part inside the other and make sure you keep those little flaps on the inside of your swordfish so that we have a nice thing here. So now what you can do, you take your scissors and you want to make top fin cuts so that your swordfish will look like it has the cool fins. And you know, looking cool, you want to impress your friends. So it's one of the most important parts. Now that you get that, you can then take your swordfish. You want to make the outside fin folds. So you simply take one part and simply kind of squish it together almost. An unorthodox sort of fold here. You want to just fold it and squish it until you have a nice little fin there. It may not look the best, but it looks decent. And then, once you put, if you fold it back in, you can see where you did it and you want to do about the same thing with your other one. So you just fold it in like that. Once you have that, you want to take your fins, you want to make it so that he's going pretty fast. So you want to take it and you want to fold it up to about your bottom of your, of your swordfish and do the same thing on the other side. Once again, using the other side as a guideline. You can always take your swordfish apart to make it easier. So once you've done that, you put them back together. But before you put them back together, we want to use glue to be able to put our swordfish together. So using the glue, we're going to take the inside part right here. We're going to glue all that nice and neat. Glue, glue, glue. And then we're going to take this, put it on the inside, line everything up. It's very important about lining stuff up so that it looks normal. Then you want to take any ordinary book or something and simply put it on top. And then you just let it lay there for maybe two minutes while the glue dries. And then once you're done, your swordfish will be complete. So I'll meet you back when the swordfish is all done and we'll see our final product. So welcome back. And our swordfish has now finished drying. And it looks great. All good, just like the other ones. And now we have a school of swordfish. You can make more if you want. And it's all done, and you can always make more and show your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.